Now, I'm gonna take you to creativity and problem solving. Since I'm dealing with the language, I'm gonna ask my students uh, to deal with the problematic. We know English today is a very prominent language, and other languages are losing their, their let's say, their popularity within their countries. I'm gonna ask them to find a way to fix this problem. How can those countries push their languages and make them, uh, you know, as a prominent as English? What are gonna see the reaction? So please guys, now we move to the last stage. It's a creativity and the problem solving. Help! So please, now what you have to think of, you know we have some countries, their language is not that popular. So please try to each team is going to think of a country that they have their own language, but it's not that very popular, it's not that very strong. So what are the ways that you can suggest in order to make that language so strong, so powerful, and so prominent in the world. Are you ready? So each team, you choose a country and a language. Okay? The time to think of this is a five minutes. Yeah, I'm talking about this. Now we move uh, to the last stage of uh, problem solving. I believe that you have this. Uh, we are going to decide some spokeswomen or spokes ladies who are going to come here, and they are going to speak on the behalf of their teams about the country they have chosen and the language they speak and how they can make their language international, famous. Great. So, in from this team, we, we need someone. Lina is gonna speak about which country? Turkey. So you can you come here. Is there any volunteer? So maybe Arabic then Arabic. So you can Arabic. 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 So we have two. Right. You can intervene. On the set. You can add something. Right. We have the same language. So when she finishes, you can intervene. You can add if you want to add something. Right. Okay, so we listen to <coughs> So we think that uh, Turkey can have, uh, like, uh, can be a really powerful country since nowadays uh, it's not that bad and a lot of people visit Turkey every year. So just by tourism, we can, like, uh, build language and develop it. Like, people visit Turkey, they can learn the language, they can, uh, like, uh, get used to it just by listening to people. Now when they go to Turkey they only speak English. But if we like uh, if we change it, if we make everything in Turkey like just in Turkish but uh, in a, like some way just translate sometimes if they, or, they if they don't understand. Okay. <laughs> to recap how can Turkish become a great Turkish. language? Tourism and Tourism. Tourism. And who's in their economy? Very good. Uh, you want to have some questions? No, I'm sorry. 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 I'm Oh, good. Oh, very nice. Okay. Oh, great. So now we come to Arabic. Yes. Yeah. So since Arabic, we use it in our lives. That if we go, for example, to visit another country, we change our language. It is it is something not good because we must keep our own language. And for example, when people come to visit Morocco, we are obliged to change our language. 
But when we visit them, we change the language. So why do we have that? We must keep our language and be proud of it. And if they want to communicate with us, they have to change their language. Yeah. So um, that is the first thing. Second, in our schools, uh, for example, uh, this year we have seen that there is the international ban. Why do we have it? We are speaking Arabic. And Arabic is also important, so if we want to make it much more important, we must keep our language. So, if we speak French, and everyone will speak <coughs> French, we will have no Arabic, and Arabic will, we will like lose our own language. Thank you. So, there, I think there are some questions. Uh, one, two, and three. Uh, I just want you, you speak Arabic, you speak just Arab, to Arabic people, but you speak English or French, you speak to, to the globe. So I don't think that you're going to make Arabic a powerful language from a day to another. It needs time. So for the moment, the underdeveloped follow the development, and that's it. You have to accept it. Okay, let's recap. When we flip, we have out-class activities and in-class activities. Since I'm flipping listening comprehension, so please, dear teachers, try to select the appropriate material that can motivate and not demotivate the students. If you want to challenge, challenge them in class, not out-class. As you know, in ink, as I said, Outclass activities involve a lot of stages. All of them help the students to come to a summary. And that summary is going to reflect their understanding of the audio material. In-class activities involve a lot of stages too. So I always start with the shack because we as English language teachers we want to have students who speak, who communicate, who share, who can expose what they know. The Shah gives you this opportunity. You share, you help, you ask, and you comment. Then after we take our students to critical thinking, we want to have students who think. When we flip, we help the students have enough time to think and to give their own opinions. And then it comes to problem solving. You know, when you fix a problem, how proud you feel. So the same thing for the children and the same thing for the teenagers and for the same thing for all the students who benefit from flipped learning classes. So please, just give them the opportunity to flip and you're going to see the change, radical change. You are going to be proud of your students. I'm proud of your work too. Thank you.